During this video, I will be covering the cardiovascular system through the information we talked about in class through lecture, PowerPoints, and the books. First, I will go over the cardiovascular primary function starting with the heart. The heart pumps blood to the lungs in systematic circulation. Then you have the blood vessels, and these are the pipelines for carrying the blood to and from the tissues. Then there's blood. And what the blood does is transport mechanisms to and from the tissues. Next, I will be going over the function of the heart. The heart has two pumps when beating, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the right pumps blood to the lungs and this is where the blood is oxygenated. Then there is the one on the left and the one on the left pumps the oxygenated blood to the systematic circulation. Next, I will be going over the different types of blood vessels, very briefly. There are the arteries, veins, pulmonary veins, arterioles, capillaries, and venules. Next, I will be going over some of the factors that play effect on the heart rate. One would be your age. This plays an effect because the younger you are typically means you have a healthier heart and you, your heart rate tends to be higher compared to when you are 80 years old and your heart isn't pumping as fast. Second would be gender and usually males have a higher heart rate due to more testosterone running through their body and obviously women have lower levels so their heart rate tends to be lower than males. Next would be size and usually the bigger the person the higher the heart rate due to the fact of the heart having to work harder to pump more blood throughout the body and smaller people have less obviously because the heart does not have to work as hard to pump blood through the body. Then last one I will cover is posture. When a person is walking around their heart rate tends to be higher because your heart is working harder to pump blood through it versus laying down when your body is at rest and your heart does not have to work as hard since your entire body is staying still. To finish this video, I will be going over what exercise does to your heart rate, and that is, once you start exercising, the heart rate starts to rise rapidly. If the exercise is light or moderate, the heart rate will plateau within the first minute. If the exercise is heavy, the heart rate increases until exhaustion. And at the end of the exercise, the heart rate rapidly declines within the first two to three minutes. And, uh, and after the initial rapid decline, heart rate decreases more slowly, getting back to resting levels.